Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be solving an algebra word problem. If you are new to my channel, you might as well consider subscribing so you will get more practice solving word problem because I'll be uploading more of this kind of content in the coming weeks. All right, so let's start. Twice the sum of two and the square of the number equals two less than eight times the number. What is the number? So here, let's represent the number as x. So let's, let's say x is equal to the number. So let's go back to the problem again. Twice the sum of 2 and the square of the number. Let's pause here. So, twice the sum of 2 and the square of the number. How do we write that in terms of mathematical sentence? So it says here, twice the sum of 2 and the square of the number. How do we write that? The sum of 2 and the square of the number. So, it can be 2 plus the square of the number, right? So the number is x, so x is squared. And so the sum, so that's why we have we have the plus sign over here. We're adding those two. And then say here twice. So it say, since it says here twice the sum of two and the square of the number, so let's put a bracket or parenthesis right there, so times two, right? And then equals here two less than eight times the number. Once again, the number is x, so 8 times the number. So that is 8 times x, right? And it's since it says here 2 less, so that's minus 2. And so let's simplify. So this will be a 2, right? So that's 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2x squared, equals 8x minus 2. Put all the terms in one place, right? So... Well, let's start with this 2x squared so 2x squared and then put the rest of this to the left so that is 8x positive there will be negative on this side so negative 8x and we have 4 here so plus 4 and negative 2 to the left will become positive so plus 2 equals 0 Simplify this further. So we have 2x squared minus 8x and 4 plus 2 is 6 equals 0. And so how do we solve for x? So we can do factoring or quadratic formula, right? So let's start factoring. So here we have 2x squared. So we have 2x squared and the third term is 6. So what are the factors of 2x squared? That's 2x and x, right? And factors of 6. Factors of 6, that's 2 and 3, right? 2 times 3 is 6. But then, the middle term is negative. So both of these factors are negative. So if we multiply both negative, it will become positive. That's the third term. Alright, so 3 times 2x that is, since this is negative, so negative 6x, x times negative 2, that's negative 2x. If we sum this up, it will be 6 plus 6 plus n2, add both, that's 8, since this, these are both negative, so that's 8, negative 8x. That is the middle term. So now the factors of this are 2x, and here, negative 2, and x, and negative 3. Then, this is equal to 0. So, factors are 2x minus 2 equals 0. These are both equating to 0. And x minus 3 equals 0. So, here, solving for x, 2x is equal to 2. Divide by 2, both sides. So we now have x is equal to 1, and the right-hand side, x is equal to 3. So we have x is equal to 3, and x equals to 1. So we have two answers for the number, 1 and 3. 
And there's another way to factor this since the leading coefficient is not 1 but 2. So we go back to our equation. So we go back to our equation here. If you notice, these are all even numbers, 2, 8, and 6. All coefficients are even. If we divide by 2, so we will have we will have our equation divided by 2, the whole thing. So this comes up to x squared minus 8 divided by 2 is 4. That's 4x. Four 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus 3 equals 0. So now we can factor this out, right? And factors of x squared is r x and x. And 3 is the third term. What are the factors of 3? 3 and 1, right? Since the middle term is negative, so these both factors are negative. When we multiply both negatives, it will turn to positive, right? Negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. All right, so if we fold this, we we return to this equation that we have. All right, so from here, equate both factors to 0. So we have x minus 1 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0. So for x, transposing negative 1 to the right, so x is equal to 1. And here, the same way, 3 to the right, so we have x is equal to 3. So we have the same answer as the earlier solution we have. So we have x is equal to 1 and 3, our final answers. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, you might as well consider subscribing if you would like to learn more about the strategies in solving word problems in algebra. Since uh, in few days, uh, in few days from now, I'll be uploading more videos on word problem solving in algebra. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. See you on my next videos.